Ho 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 and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. Good to have you here and uh, this is the Christmas edition in which I have uh, one of two uh, reviews right over here and we start off with the uh, Sprite MK1 hardtop from the fine folks over at Gansi Sangyo. Now this is a, an interesting kit. I saw that for a reasonable price over here so I finally bit the bullet and got it and uh, it looks really really um, yeah as I said interesting just to see what's on the side here you go Sprite in green which I think suits it very very well and here you see a little bit of the history in English and Japanese and there you have again the top and then there is nothing at the back right over here right so this is the kit we're going to have a look at hope you guys are going to enjoy that well before we're going to have a close look at what is in this uh, interesting and mysterious box let's have a quick look at what uh, the history has to tell us about the sprite mk1 hardtop see you there right here we are with the uh Austin Healy Sprite MK1 hardtop from uh, Sanyo Gunzi. This particular kit is uh, from 1985. Um, they had different uh, issues of 1985, which was the original one. This was apparently the original box. And then let's have a look at the history right here. Right. You see my box over here. Then in 1992, Airfix made the high tech series, also the Austin Healy. Then uh, it went back to uh, Ganze with uh, this particular polo uh, themed one. I oh, love to see those, the box art. And then we had another one which was a racing one. Uh, this looks like the mouth of uh, the uh, leading car in cars, uh, Lightning. Right, and then uh, funnily enough, Mr. Hobby did in the 2000s, we are not quite sure when, did a repop of that polo edition from Gunze. That's more or less what I can tell you about the history of this kit. And it's very interesting indeed because it's a it's a mixed mixed kit. So it has uh geez, my words, it has uh, mixed materials which you use to build the kit, so it's not a styrene kit or a styrene kit only. And uh, what that means, I think we should have a look uh, while we open the box. So let's do that. Let's get down to the bench and have a look at that. And here we are on the bench with the uh, Sprite MK1 hardtop from Austin Healy. This particular kit, as I said already, from the fine folks over at Guns. Sangyo, and uh, excuse when I butchered the name. I just want to show you something. Here we go. If you look at this, uh, you see this is the first lot, and this is the fourth kit out of 1986. That's very cool. I like that. I like that that they yeah, kind of have an idea how big was the series and uh, which number is that. So this is a very early uh, kit out of that series, and this is what it looks like in the box. Let's go a little bit further down so you can see better. Here you go. Right. Now, we have the body. Let's put you on one side. We have the body over here. We have what I would assume is probably glass or transparent plastic. We have a guarantee card if you want to. I would assume. See, there's a quality control stamp right over here. So, uh, I can read the telephone number. That's about where it stops. Right, we have some chrome parts. We have some plastic parts. Oh, so this was not clear. This might have been the hardtop, which we saw just now, because there's the clear plastic together with all the others. Really? Thank you. Yeah, that's not so nice. Here we go. We will separate them after this. We have a couple of P parts and... I think there's just a black carton to keep the PE part straight and we seem to have two 
metal axles right over here. Then we have uh, this interesting box. There we go, let's put that to one side. Which is full of metal parts and we will have a look at those piece by piece in a minute. And then obviously we have an instruction sheet. Which doesn't want to come out. I'll just try to get it out without damaging it too much. Uh, looks like I succeeded. No. Lost that in a separator. Here we go. Got that back too. Right. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's have a look at the instructions. Oh, wow. This looks like an A3. Oh, let's let's zoom out as much as we can. Which isn't much, but here we go. Because this is a biggie. And it also kind of falls apart. And it then falls over to that. So here we go. That's That's how it starts. Uh, it tells you what you need and actually there's a nice English explanations as well then we have frame white metal parts list right over here so you can check if you have everything then bulkhead and how it needs to be bent very cool and uh, colors is also in here and it gives you the numbers how to get the chassis together then we have it right over here chassis and tunnel interior look at this uh, the trim which you need to set temporarily and then cement to the body though they say cut off lower door casing as shown here we go so quite a bit to do here we have the dashboard right over here let's get a bit closer zoom a little bit in so you guys can see that that's just ridiculous here we go there you have the uh, dashboard assembly some of it anyway dashboard setting oh yeah, this is explains to you how the dashboard goes in this is the inner trimmings if you haven't seen them just now then we turn around and not numbers oh it is number four there's number six. Right, we'll have uh, the carriage of the lower and the upper parts, then uh, exhaust supports. We have lights, the famous frog eye lights, and how to work the grill. Some uh, interior parts right over here, and trims, trimmings right over there. Tires. We have those over here then we have how to get uh, the windshield installed the way they think is the right way right let's fold that up because there's another page coming here we are there it gives you a more an idea about the top how to work the top get the window in there the handles for the top yeah, it looks all very nicely detailed and it even has I mean it has a little luggage shelf over here as well so this is a nice little tourer it's been fitted out to be a nice little tourer and here it gets it gives you another idea what you need to have a high tell high-tech modeling all the tools and the rest of it explanations only in Japanese right that gives you an idea about the instruction sheet which I think is very very cool let's put that just back into the box very carefully here we go we have done that and then we let's get started I would assume should we do uh, I haven't seen any decals by the way so that does not seem to be in here let's start with this one here and i will not take this one out of the box please do excuse me how did you get here i hope you're right with that here we go just see nick the camera again right we have the two metal axles and then we have pe parts right a few over here we have window frames 
we have wipers uh, inner door we have part of the uh, very nice uh, fitted dashboard look at that I've, I don't, I'm not sure I have seen a printed PE part before maybe it's just me and you have seen many of those but anyway I think that's pretty cool would you mind uh, doing a bit of a here we go and then we have the Sprite MK1 if you want to put it somewhere and display it you can use these so that's pretty cool and then we have the carton at the back just to make sure that it stays straight then let's do metal parts what are we having well we are having the pedals right over here there you go so the pedals are white metal we have very small not quite sure if that's to attach to wheels but there are some small fastness right over here and then we have the metal plate and I think that's the one which you have to bend let's see yeah, it doesn't have any doesn't have any lines to help you with that which you have to bend to uh, conform to the inside of the vehicle right we have seen that one in the instruction sheet then we have let's open this up here it's very difficult to see in the package we have a inner fender i would oh no or it is the front uh, firewall not sure not sure anyway there's a metal piece which will uh, be used for sure white metal probably not an inner fender it probably is kind of oh no there's a second one so it was an inner fender here we go there's a second one so that would make me assume that it was an inner fender now let's put the metal parts to one side because they have their own box here we go right then we have let's open this one up as well we have here we go we have the differential right over here let's take this away so it can focus in here we go very very nice like that a lot white metal obviously quite a bit of cleanup to do I'm not a proud owner of tumblers or any of that so this will all be done by hand then we have this part which is has the tank and the drive shaft tunnel right over here so let's have a look at what this looks like yeah, from this side it's obviously quite blank because you don't see it and here you have the tank bit of a line over here and as I said drive shaft tunnel so this is probably will be visible on the inside here you go quite heavy that whole thing it is really not light show it to me she said gee this is heavy not quite as heavy as the old hubbly kit I'm having but quite heavy indeed all right I'll show you that last. then we have some more very small parts I think these are the parts which go on the front of the hardtop I'm not going to take these out because I will be clumsy enough to do so right and then let's just get rid of the staples here and then we have wheels and we certainly need to take one of them out to have a closer look what the wheel looks like here you are now that's pretty cool I like that oh yeah that's very very nice oh, I think that we can and it has an AH as well I don't know if you can see it yeah you can for Austin Healy and yeah that's pretty cool that will clean up very nicely and we'll work it from there very nice I like that I like that a lot don't drop it on the floor oh. need to find a new bag for that one there are the wheels 
And then last, but certainly not least, as far as the metal parts are concerned, we have the lower floor right over here. There you see the oil panel of the engine. doesn't have an engine. This is a, a curbside. And you see some of the axles. There we go. Nothing to see on the inside. All right. Now, I would suggest, let's move on to the plastic. Well, first of all, we have this, which I wrongly assumed would be... Oh, it is. I didn't wrongly assume that at all. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So you paint that to make that then the cabin? Let's, let's find out, shall we? Yeah, let's find out once we have a look at the body. I really want to see how this is going to work. Right. And let's have a quick look at the chrome parts. Chrome plastic, that is, has been included. Let's find that over here. Right. You see the frame for the window, uh, the headlight buckets. There are some bumpers over here. There uh, looks to be a fuel tank uh, lid right over there and other bumper parts right over here which you need to assemble. Yeah, you might want to... I need to decide if I want to redo those. There's a possibility that I might want to do that. Right. Chrome parts, just gonna put them back in the back if you don't mind. And then we have uh, pieces of plastic right over here. Uh, everything is stapled, really. Right, let's get all of those, well, plastic and rubber parts, get all of those out. We have the dashboard and the steering wheel in white outer headlight buckets right over here. That actually looks very nice. There's no... Uh, there's no uh, structure on here, so... It's smooth plastic, that's what we are looking at here. And we have the lower, the transparent parts, which is in there together with those rubber parts. I mean, what were they thinking? Anyway, here it is. It looks relatively unharmed. It's a bit of polishing. We have uh, headlights right over here, headlight covers, rear lights. And that's basically it as far as transparent parts are concerned. And then we have this, which is all very floppy because it's rubber parts you have. The suitcase right over here, you have the two seats, you have the tires, and you have the inside, as well as this frame. All right, so this might go on to the glass. Oh yeah, and this is the other frame which we have seen in the instructions. So that you need to get on there somehow in order to make this a hardtop. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, these are the rubber parts indeed. And then obviously we have the body. We have over here. And this one, look at that for a change. Doesn't have a staple. This has been closed with a teaser film as we call it. Right. And this is the lovely body of the Sprite. There's a little bit of redoing of the uh, the gaps necessary right over here. The panel lines, they need some tension. This is probably where the, uh, where the tank lid goes. There's the back. There's the front, the laughing face. Very neat, actually. There's not too much cleanup to do apart from the panel lines just a little bit of going over and you should be fine now oh no no you 
keeps this going in like this. Kind of feels it doesn't fit. What do you think? Should we look in the instructions? I mean, come on. If there was ever a reason to look in the instructions, this is it. See what we can find out. All right. Cut off. All right. So you need to cut out stuff here. Ooh, gives you an idea. Five millimeters. Do we get a template or do you do that freehand? Okay. It says cut off number 12. Let's see where number 11 is. I think number 11 is on the other paper. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, the other paper doesn't tell you anything about this. Right. So, you have to cut this. Yeah, you see there. So, you have to cut this out. So, then it looks like that. And you bend stuff. And you cut off there at the bottom. How much? I don't know. I'll probably to that line here. I would assume. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So the construction of this, uh, of the hardtop, involves quite a bit of cutting of this uh, plastic part right over here. And. Uh, only thing which is really neat transparent is the rear window and uh, then you take it from there there are actually if you look very carefully you see that there is some let's take this out of the way you see there is some gives you some indication where to cut then you cut around here and you, hey, 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 stay with me and then you cut around here and then you cut the whole thing here and the front now you keep that line right over here right right there's some real modeling to be done here very very interesting so this is how this works that's very cool actually that part that transparent part is pretty uh, uh soft it's not as the normal hard transparent plastic part so yeah that's pretty cool so let's wrap that up into that a bit of paper which they brought with it here we go yeah so this is how the body and the hard top go together so the hard top is really an extra which needs some tender loving care this ladies and gentlemen should give you a quick rundown what we had in this box of the uh, Austin Healy Sprite MK1 hard top and I think it's very interesting. I really do. And uh, yeah, some uh, interesting modeling techniques will be required. I know Paul built a one uh, of these Model Factory Hero uh, kits who had white metal. So I will certainly have a look at that video again and see what he did with them. How he cleaned them up and uh, painted them, glued them. So that will be an interesting one. And I'm looking forward to do that. Anyway, let's go back up and uh, get to a conclusion. See you there. Right, folks, back on top. And uh, we uh, had a look and loved the details here on the Austin Healy Sprite MK1 hardtop. Uh, metal looks very nice the plastic looks very nice yes it will need some uh, cleanup and it's certainly unusual the way they uh, constructed the hardtop so that will be uh, interesting to see how we're going to go about that one and it certainly will be uh, interesting how to get the metal parts clean and together as i said i will uh, check up on uh, international scale modeler 
Paul um, Bretland, he has a very nice video how he did it with the Lancia, which has lots and lots of white metal parts. What he did about that, how he cleaned that up, certainly will take a hint or two from those videos. Right, and that's about it. That's what we have. Um, uh, if you come across this kit, not quite sure what it prices these days. I've seen it for anything between $120 and $200. Um, still think it's worth the money. It's a fantastic kit. There are only 1800 odd about from this particular iteration of the kit. And uh, you certainly, if you have a chance to get one, probably should get one. If you like the subject, obviously, if you're into Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi, great. <laughs> into sci-fi or any other subjects, obviously, that's not for you. Modern rally cars, that's not for you. But if you like uh, classic cars like I do, then this certainly, you know, would be something you would like to have in the stash and to build. Right, folks, thanks very much for popping in. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.